Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you all in this presentation. I, Sandeep, will be world presenter for this research paper entitled Effort Estimation in Agile Software Development, an Exploratory Story of Practitioner's Perspective. It is absolutely a privilege for me to participate in this prestigious conference to share the finding of this research. This study aims to provide further empirical evidence on Agile effort estimation technique in practice. Before starting, I would like to thank our organizing team, Ospoli University, and my co-authors Mary, Ricardo, and Monica. Okay, let's start the presentation. In this presentation, I'll be covering the following topic, introduction, research methodology, results, limitation, conclusion, and future work. So let's start with the introduction. Agile software development is one of the development process which includes multiple steps in which effort estimation is one of the part of development process. So here, estimation is one of the main concern in development process as it supports key process such as decision of development, feasibility analysis, resource allocation, risk mitigation, and project planning. Also, there are challenges in estimation such as requirement are constantly changing uh, during the project progresses which results in accuracy in estimation. Also, it is hard to estimate unknown parts in development process which also emerged the moment of hashtag no estimate and hashtag no project. If we talk about this um, no estimate and no project, both moment are related. No estimate removes the justification of estimation and helps the organization focus on value delivery first. Whereas no project is an agile approach towards continuous and market validated value delivery. Um, so objective. The objective of this study um, is to identify the benefits and challenges of effort estimation technique in the agile practice and the impact of fast tech no estimate and the no project movement in estimation. <coughs> Research questions. Based on the objectives, the following research questions were prepared. Number one, what are the effort estimation technique used in agile software development? Number two, what are the benefits of estimation technique in agile software development? Number three, what are the reasons for inaccurate estimate in agile software development? And number four, what is the repercussion of no estimate and no project in agile software development uh, research methodology a quantitative research survey is done survey questions were prepared based on literature review and most of them were open and close-ended in addition survey questions were divided into seven sections starting from demographic software development project effort estimation technique estimation benefit inaccurate is inaccurate estimates moment and closing after collecting the data statistical data analysis was done and to find out the significance of the data sapiro wilk test and wilcoxon sign rank test was used um, research process the overall research process is presented in this slide uh, research process is started with survey question design based on literature review. Most of the questions were close-ended, uh, where which is Likert scale. Once the questions were prepared, a pilot study was conducted and uh, some adjustments were made on the questionnaire and sent it to participant. After that, uh, data were collected uh, sampling was done. Similarly, a normality test was done and to find out the basic information about variable descriptive analysis was done. Finally, inferential statistical analysis was 
done in which hypothesis and significance test was conducted. During the demographic analysis, um, uh, during the demographic analysis, we got responses from seven different countries, and most of them were from Nepal and Norway. Simil uh, more than 80% were male participant, and uh, most of them have three to five years of agile experience. Uh, in the software development project analysis, most of them were software developer. Uh, most of them were software developer and the team size was almost six um, six to ten member of people and if we talk about the project size uh, there the most maximum people are working more than one year of project size and most of them are uh, connected or related to e-commerce domain um, results research question one what are the effort estimation techniques used in agile software development to get the answer of estimation technique we wanted to get the understanding of development approaches and it is found that the most of the respondents are using scrum followed by devops um, kanban extreme programming and the least used was waterfall model although scrum and kanban are the most frequently practice approaches it is worth noting that many combinations are reported and most of the participants reported that they use uh, dxks which is devops extreme programming kanban scrum which is 14 uh, and followed by dxksw which which is devops extreme programming kanban scrum uh, and waterfall waterfall model which is 11 now this figure shows the result of estimation technique in agile software development here only used it scale is presented as we can see in figure that most of most of the use estimation technique is a story point followed by planning poker expert estimation and the least used estimation technique is swim lane sizing and to estimate most of the participants use Fibonacci sequence followed by ideal days and t-shirt size as a measurement unit um, for research question 2 which is what are the benefits of estimation technique in agile software development the six categories of perceived benefits are shown in the table based on the highest mean value the most perceived benefits are are to drive the team to complete the project successfully and identify the resource and project scope for two benefits uh, we can say identify the resource and project scope and helps to identify the important issue earlier less experienced respondent reaches reached a higher agreement than more experienced ones which is marked as asterisk however the result shows that there is no significant differences in the responded perceived value of the benefits based on their experience for research question 3 which is what are the reasons for inaccurate estimate in agile software development 20 factors were grouped into five categories which is requirement related issue team related issue over optimism others and project management related issue and the and the most factors agreed based on the highest mean value are complex complexity and uncertainty under requirement related issue knowledge sharing problem in the team under team related issue considering best case scenario under over optimism <coughs> ignoring test effort under others um, and poor change in control under project management related issue one can see the differences in the hindering factors influence accuracy based on the experience of the respondent however the result shows that there are only two significant differences uh, which is poor user storage and poor change in control uh, finally the research question four which is what is the repercussion of no estimate and no project in agile software development 
Almost 85% of the respondents have never heard of no estimate, uh, no project, and around 4% of no project and 10% of no estimates heard and like to learn, and around 6% heard and not interested. Even though we have got answers to our research questions, there are some limitations to this study. Starting with a smaller sample size, respondent might have not understood the questions properly. Differences in result generalization as a larger sample size was collected from Nepal. In conclusion, the paper presents the findings of the exploratory study that aims to identify agile effort estimation technique in practice, including their benefits and challenges related to inaccuracy. 62 responses were collected by using an online survey, but only 53 were valid. It is noted that story points and Fibonacci series are often used. Most perceived benefit of estimation in agile context is to drive the team to complete the project successfully. Most perceived reason for inaccuracy in estimation is complexity and uncertainty. And significant differences of challenges and benefits according to the respondent experience were tested by using a Wilcoxon signed rank test but there were only two significant differences for inaccuracy which are poor user stories poor change control and and future work is to collect larger sample to increase the generalizability of the result for the research to better understand the principle behind hashtag no estimate and hashtag no project movements and the impact in practice get insight about no participation in the effort estimation of two respondent having five plus years of experience yeah thank you for listening